and um, yeah, welcome, welcome, Icy and Mikey from Francium. I'll be looking forward to this. I love your platform. Glad to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having us, and thank everyone here. Cool. So to get started here, I think the first most natural question is like, who are you guys? Could you introduce your team and also perhaps why why you built Francium? What led to Francium? Yes, sure. Um, uh, first, I, I will introduce myself. I am IC and community manager of Francium. I'm very excited to be here to introduce uh, Francium um, about our team. Um, we started writing our first line of code in May last year when the Solana seasonal hack zone began, and Francium participated in that hack zone. We won the first runner up of Adrian and Kim Price. Before we engaged with Francium, we were all practitioners in blockchain and internet internet finance. Um, um, um before we we think that DeFi is a highly innovative field. Some people gained high yields through DeFi, but tons of capital not be used efficiently or wisely. And at that time, we thought maybe it's time for us to build something, something that can enhance capital efficiency and bring users sustainable yield. And that's why how Francis was born. Cool. So you guys have. Um... Some some straight up experience from blockchain tech and also financial services, I presume. Then, yes, yes. Before building Francium Protocol, we have accumulated a wealth of blockchain algorithm research and implementation experience, and we are also very early users of DeFi. And based on these experiences, and a lot of innovative work is being done on Francium. Okay, cool. So if you were early users of DeFi, you were probably doing the same as me, like one and a half years ago in the DeFi summary, spending thousands of dollars in gas fees. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Well, I'm pleased to hear that you have that kind of a background. It's important for a product such as Francium, I believe. And uh, to those who haven't used Francium before, obviously me and probably most of the audience here are acquainted with what you guys are doing. But to those who never used Francium, how would you explain what Francium is to them? Yeah, Francium is a yield strategy aggregator on Solana. And our region is to let DeFi users apply any strategies on any targets and bring various high yield opportunities to DeFi users. In DeFi world, there are a lot of yield opportunities such as lending, liquidity mining, staking, Objective trading, arbitrage, etc. Um, however, users may not make a full use of these opportunities to gain profits due to reasons like lack of funds, lack of effective strategies, inability to find opportunities in time, etc. Um, at the same time, the fund utilization of most DeFi protocols is still at a low level. Um, for instance, protocol is aimed to provide diverse use targets and strategies with leverage, allowing our users to open leverage positions on multiple strategies such as portfolio management, leveraged yield farming, algorithmic trading strategies, etc. And we know that uh, leverage is the core part of finance. Francium has established uh, its, our own liquidity provision protocol and is also likely expanding protocols and inter-protocols lending to provide margin for strategies. And Francium will integrate a variety of financial instruments such as options and futures to help users create and implement various strategies. And moreover, Francium Strategy Board will provide a host of functions like off-chain calculations and data input, automatic trading strategy, debt refinance, LP, position management, stop profit, stop loss, and um, yield collection compounding. And the last and far most concern, uh, we know that uh, is trust, trust in terms of security. And considering this, 
our team agreed that first things first, we designed a series of special protection mechanisms, including Oracle protection, active liquidation pools, strategy-wide listing, etc., and to protect our users' assets. And so, Francine's various strategies and protection mechanisms will bring sustainable, high-yield, and stable-yield opportunities to our users. Thank you for that presentation of what you guys are doing. There was something with what you said that I, I got a little bit more curious on, and I think uh, I know what that is to the extent. So you're talking about making it safe for your users, and obviously yes. that's like audits and so on, et cetera. But when I've, I've used the um, fancy myself, do you have like a stop loss function, for example? And is that yes. part of like you guys trying to provide a safe environment to work with your product? Yes, we have the stop loss uh, fun feature, and um, at the moment we are the only protocol that uh, allows our users to set up a stop loss position, uh, which can greatly reduce the risks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I really like that myself. Stop loss is like ABC when it comes to trading, and also apparently yield farming. It gives better sleep at night, right? You can go to sleep not having to worry about you know the market dumping too much to wreck you. But that's really awesome. Um, but thanks for that introduction. Uh, obviously, you guys have a um, ton of different products. I shared a screenshot of, of some of it, like the farming strategies. And you also have coming trading strategies and so on. And um, you do like lending, etc., to leverage farm positions. Um, would you be able to explain a little bit more this, like this leverage farming, uh, so to say? Is the, what, what, how does that really work? Doesn't mean that I could like put in some money as collateral and then you know, leverage up my positions and farm with that extra large position or how would it work in, in your words? Oh, well, leverage farming, actually, uh, Francium is very easy to use. For example, if you want to farm a pool, all you need to do is to deposit a token such as USDC or MSO, and Francium's on-chain smart contract will automatically convert half of the deposited USDC into another token uh, like MSO, and then add these tokens to the relevant DEX like Ovidium uh, or Orca to get LP and then stake the LP to the farming pools. Uh, in addition, uh, compounding is an important way to generate high profits. Francium helps users automatically take out their earnings and reinvest them into the relevant positions. And this allows profits to be generated quickly, thus maximizing earnings. Oh, cool. So the um, the compounding effect, does that work in the sense that if I deposit MSOL, then in the yes, end, I will yeah. walk away with more MSOL? Yes, that's true. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Oh, thanks for that. And um, so, yeah, a lot of interesting products or services you guys have. Um, there's more to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch upon that later, but I'm kind of getting a little bit excited here. So <laughs> when I saw in particular like that trading strategy section, uh, what, what kind of services do you guys have planned for the near future? Is there something that you could tell us about? Uh, yes, sure. Um, like you mentioned, the trading, um, the trading strategies and the what we are going to offer you know, after years of development, the traditional trading market has accumulated a host of excellent strategies. And these strategies can trade various asset types and assets at different growth stages and make profits from them. Um, these accumulated excellent trading strategies or some advanced versions based on them, um, such as AI enabled would provide a competitive performance when deployed on fast growing crypto assets. And um, the possibilities of what types of assets are suitable for high fre frequency, short term, and what are suitable for using trend analysis can uncover a mu multitude of yield opportunities that will appear to users. And team and backers of Francium have a wealth of experience in trading system and will work with partners and community to present these opportunities to users to choose from. 
and this is about the trading strategies. Okay, so your community will be able to participate in, in continuing like developing different kind of strategies as well. Did I understand that correctly? Yes, yes. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, guys, you heard it. If, if you love coming up with cool, super advanced DeFi yield farming strategies, you should head over to the Fansion, um Discord or their Telegram channel and uh, talk about strategies there. And perhaps your strategy would be used in, in their coming uh, services. Yes, Who knows? we welcome everyone. Cool. So, um, all right, let's rewind, rewind it a little bit, rewind the tape here back to um, last year in, in July. You guys launched Francium back then. And um, what has happened since now? Because it's been quite a ride, obviously. Um, how would you, like, when you look back since the launch, like, how would you see the, the current process, uh, progress of your protocol? Uh, well, uh, the beta version of Francium has been launched on Solana mainnet at the end of July, yes. And uh, currently, there are hundreds of millions of dollars earning yield with Francium. And uh, on our website, you can see that the lending pool leverage your farming contribution incentive system and farming strategies are included in the current version of Francium. And uh, on the leverage yield farming uh, section, you can farm improves with high IP APY and you can also set a low stop loss threshold to re reduce the risk brought by leverage and we are the only one that allows you to set up the stop loss position and as for how to use as i mentioned before it's very easy to use you you only have to deposit a token and we'll do it automatically for you and about landing pool and you can deposit tokens into landing pools on francium to get interest and the apy of landing pools on francium is uh, usually higher than some of the landing protocols because utilization of funds in these pools is high most of the time. And about farming strategies, um, Francium team is working hard to integrate strategy tools that will help you design your own farming strategies. We have also been exploring the most effective farming strategies out there and we'll be deploying them for you to use. Uh, you can see that the first farming strategy we launched is pseudo delta neutral heading strategy, which takes a long and short position in assets simultaneously to minimize the effect on your portfolio when the assets price moves. And we'll launch more strategies soon and stay tuned. It. And about the contribution, contribution, uh, we have a contribution system and contribution points. Uh, which is also called CP, is a kind of certification for the early users of Francium who are involved in Francium, like joining in the early activities, finding bugs, proposing a good suggestions will be rewarded. And users can feel free to touch or ask if you think your contribution deserves CPs. And Francium will give continuous rewards to users based on CPs. And that's so that's so cool. the current progress of our protocol so if i go to your community and i come up with a super awesome yield farming strategy with enzo and this this yeah. strategy will be used or appreciated by by the team that means that i will get this kind of um, contribution points and yes, that will true. probably in the future well what does that mean for the future what would i do with these points will i have a cool discord role or will will i have a other kind of opportunities with this role, uh, with these points. Uh, with these points, you'll get some incentives, like some like whitelisting certificates and other uh, rewards. Oh, juicy! Okay, nice, cool. Well, even more reasons to uh, to head over to the French uh, community and participate in the strategy uh, discussions there. You guys heard it. So, um, yeah. okay. Um, thanks for that uh, rewind and, and uh, explanation of the progress. I've been following you guys, um, yeah, proper builders and shippers over there, I can say. Um, so yeah, 2022 is probably going to be a pretty interesting year for Francium. So the next yes, question yes. I have for you guys is, 
one of the things that I probably enjoy the most when, when it comes to Fancium. And that is um, the uh, yield farming calculator. I love that. Like it visualizes like my expectations. <laughs> it's easier for me to see if it's realistic. And it also indicates like if I, I saw on certain occasions, like when I, when I on the bar, like choose too high leverage, it's actually a bad thing for my, my, my position there and so on. So would you be able to introduce this, this really awesome calculator uh, briefly to, to our listeners? Yes, sure. Um, uh, last year, we launched a visual year farming calculator on Solana. And the first version is the year farming calculator. The calculator can be used as a position equity simulator based on different position settings. And with the yield farming calculator, you can set set up one position and see how much you will earn, how changes in price impact your equity values and the risk of liquidation. You may also model changes in value for different amounts of leverage and different borrowed assets. And because DeFi users in the community have been suffering from the inconvenience of calculating the profits and risks of leverage farming, and that's why the calculator was born. And then we uh, also launched the farming simulator, and it's also to help DeFi users better farm. Francine launched the yield farming simulator on the farming page to assist in opening positions of current asset pair. And you're able to know your estimated profit under different conditions with this simulator. And the third point is, is about the position tracking. And after opening a position on Transim, you can use the farming simulator to check your position details and track them. And the parameters of this of the chart are rendered based on the latest data of your actual positions. You are able to know your estimate profit in several days with it, and profit and loss while price changes. And that's our yield farming uh, calculator. It's very useful, and hope everyone to experience it. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed by that one. Um, this is something very useful when, when one wants to create some kind of expectations on it. Like it's easier to just visualize it, for me at least, than, than playing around in, in Excel sheets all the time and do it myself. <laughs> it saves me, probably saves me hours uh, to use this kind of uh, calculator. So I, I really love that, that service you guys have with that product. Um, nice. Thank uh, you. So, uh, so onwards to we'll do the next question then. And um, I saw that this question has been asked a couple of times. It was some talks about audits in the chat here and security. So that led me to this question. I already prepared. So obviously security is, is uh, extremely important. And from what I see, you guys um, are sorting that one out really good. Uh, you have done some audits with Certic, I think, and so on. Uh, would you mind explaining like what you guys actually do to make sure that the platform is, is safe for, for its users? Um, yes, yeah, sure. Um, uh, like we said before, uh, we know that most concern obviously is trust in, in terms of security. And considering this same team, um, we designed a series of, of spec special protection mechanisms, including Oracle protection, active liquidation pools, strategy whitelisting, etc., to pr protect our users' assets. And and two audit team firms have also provided their report of Francium. You can check it on our documentations on our website. Cool. So you guys got it covered. I mean, you, you both um, are reviewing your own code through audits and whatnot. And also, you have that pretty awesome stop loss uh, thing as well, which helps uh, with, with security <laughs> when it comes to our positions and not getting wrecked. Um, awesome. I'm lo loving what I'm hearing here. It's so important with security. We at Marinade, we put a lot of effort when, on the security. Um, so, good, good stuff. And there's. Um, there's obviously, I saw this question also being addressed in the chat earlier. 
Um, I think. Either way, so friendship. Where does that name come from? Friendship. Oh, this is an interesting question. Uh, a lot of people asked that before. Uh, actually, francium is also known as the most active metal element. And, and because of that, this name can perfectly show our features. Like what we are doing is to bring innovation to Solana to DeFi. We're going to be one of the most active projects to bring high yield to our users continuously. Okay, I like that. There's some some actual symbolism behind that name um, that ties into what you guys are doing. <laughs> cool. That's yeah. some big brain stuff right there, man. I need to post like a galaxy brain emoji because of that. Boom. Samaic. Okay, cool. Um, glad to hear that background. And um, another question that, that is intriguing me as well is, um, is uh, when token. Are you guys planning to launch a token or something? Because uh, I think this was also asked in the, in, in the chat earlier, uh, but most projects do have a token. You guys don't have a token. What's the plan? Is there a token involved here soon, or what can we expect? Yes, we all have our tokens, and we are designing our tokenomics, and it's coming soon. I'm serious, and it's really coming soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Now our users are looking forward to that, and we really appreciate that. And okay, nice, nice. When token soon, you guys heard it. You guys heard it soon. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a need, knowledge. right? But yeah, well, you promise it will actually be soon. So fingers crossed then. <laughs> I'm going to keep my eyes open for this one because what you guys are building is awesome. So uh, thank you. Yeah, like K5 said, soon. Okay, cool. And, uh, and another question from me then would be like, you explained very well, like what makes you guys uh, cool um, and why you guys are here to stay. Um, so... But obviously, there's other DeFi protocols out there that does similar stuff and so on. I'm trying to you know, provide yield farm optimizing uh, setups. So my question then would be, what, what makes you guys different from other similar yield farming aggregators? Well, a lot of people ask about that. Um, and the interesting part is we're not only a yield, leverage yield farming aggregator. Surely our main feature at the current stage is leverage your farming, but it's only a small part of the story. Our final goal is to build a DeFi strategy aggregator, like what we said before. I bring high yield with different strategies to DeFi users, and leverage your farming is only one of the strategies you can choose from. And even if only talk about leverage your farming, we have our own advantages. Francium allows our users to set up a stop loss position, uh, which can greatly reduce the risks. And now we, you can also use our templates. We have the little neutral farming templates. You can open the, uh, the long or short position use, using our templates. And we'll launch more excellent farming strategies next. Cool, cool. Oh, well, that's a clear differentiator. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of stop loss action on DeFi platforms, to be honest. It's ext I don't get why, though. It's extremely important. And you guys are one of the few that, that provides this to its users. So, yeah, big, big plus for that, in my opinion. Um, cool. So let's, let's move on to some uh, AMSOL-related questions. So, what I'm curious to understand is from your perspective, you know, from behind the scenes that fans you, like, what, how are you seeing the performance of the AMSOL uh, farming pool and then the pools on, on fans you? Uh, yeah. Um, currently, we, there are six AMSOL farming pools on fans and the total TVR is around 10 million, and they all perform very well. And MSO landing pool has around about 14 million TVL. It is the fourth largest landing pool on Francium. 
I like what I'm hearing. That means that you guys are uh, really doing an effort to assist us in the mission to secure and decentralize Solana, which is yeah close to our hearts, obviously. Um, and with that said, um, like, how would you guys say that the existing MSOL integration uh, or these kind of pools you guys have is helpful to to marinate and, and Solana, the Solana network, from your point of view? Um, well, Marinade is doing a great job, we got to say. And by doing with Marinade, uh, you know, users avoid usual lockup periods for staked, so so they are free to use their assets anytime. And even more, Marinade allows our users to strengthen the security of this network. And Francium can help Marinade to achieve the uh, goals, like the long holders can deposit MSO into Francium for interest, and farming pools can increase the liquidity of MSO pairs. And this would be great. Indeed, indeed. We are together participating in the mission to decentralize and secure Solana. But also, like you just said, a very important aspect that is often overlooked is that, okay, we have securing and decentralizing Solana and also the, the liquid staking. You don't have to lock up your funds. But what happens when people stake their soul and they get MSOL in return, liquefying that stake, it's not locked anymore. You could use that in DeFi, right? And it's yes. a lot of soul, a lot of MSOL now being used in the DeFi ecosystem. So that means that we're also helping with Marinade, we're also helping the Solana DeFi ecosystem to expand and evolve as well, since there's a big chunk of MSOL out there being used on basically all notable DeFi platforms. I'm glad that you highlighted that as well, Isaac. Nice. Well, yeah. Okay, enough uh, enough uh, MSOL talk here. We all know how MSOL works now at Francium and their point of view. Um, and I can go on talking about MSOL and why it's awesome for probably two more hours at least. So we need to move forward to um, to the, uh, the Marinator lottery. I think we're done with the first 30 minutes here. So listen up, all Marinators. This is the lottery kicking off here, and we are going to do what we usually do. We're going to post an uh, emoji, and the emoji is the Francium logo type. There we go. I just shared it in the chat. And just drop that Francium logo type emoji in the chat, and that means that you get a lottery ticket, and we'll do the lottery draw after this AMA session is over in approximately 30, 40 minutes. Uh, we had 200 marinade tokens at stake here uh, to one lucky marinator. Um, so keep in mind, if you don't have the marinade role yet and you want to participate in this lottery, just head over to the Verify m and section under the uh, MDAO access category uh, in the chats and verify that you have just 20 marinade tokens. What's that? Like $3. So head over to do that and then you will be able to participate in the lottery. Uh, and Additionally, for marinators as well, we all we have this GM for coffee thing going on in the GM channel. Um, what is that? That is just wish our community a good morning, and you will be able to win a coffee once a day for USDC is going to be sent to one lucky marinator that just wishes everybody a good freaking morning. So don't forget about that one. Um, Okay, we're saying, saying a lot of logo types uh, dropping into the chat here. Dope. Okay, five. Good morning to you, sir. I'm going to send you a sticker. Good morning, good morning. It's probably pretty late over there, but it's, it's GM 24 7. Doesn't matter. GM. Okay, so uh, as, as some more of these emojis are popping into the chat here. I am going to look on the questions already asked from the community and also you guys listening. If you have some cool questions, drop them in the chat now. Remember that the best question asked will win 30 bucks of $30 of Amazon. Okay, let me just find some, some cool question here. We're gonna start off with this one from Player of Bits. 
Uh, I'm going to, um, I see a mic. I'm going to drop a link to the question in the chat, just in case I read it, you know, in a bad way, <laughs> like I did a couple of times the last AMA. You can click on the link and you will see the question and read it yourself. So the first question from Player Bets is, what's their take on cross-chain strategy slash lending uh, with the uh, seeing the recent wormhole issue? Yeah, have you guys been um, concerned about the wormhole issue when it comes to possible like cross-chain strategies or, or products from your end? And player bets is following up here. For instance, they have We Sushi and We Uni strategies. So well, were you guys super stressed in the Francium office or virtual office when the wormhole thing happened? Or what, what, what was the vibe over there? Mm, uh, normally, we choose the mm, the pools with you no know, the when the their liquidity is enough. But currently, our standard is a uh, six million about of the the pool, and about cross chain strategies, it it has the stable APR and the liquidity is enough and we'll choose it. And about wormhole issue, um, as we said before, we have our um, own protection mechanisms. So it, our users uh, don't need to worry about it. And we have our own reserve the fund pool Okay, so you guys are on top of that. And also when you are looking at this possible like cross-chain opportunities, um, I mean, it's not that you guys are, are packing your bags and walking over to another blockchain per se. You're utilizing the wrapped um, tokens that represents the tokens from the other blockchains, right? Yeah. So you're using wrapped Ether, like wormhole Ether. You're not actually going over to the Ethereum blockchain and playing around over there and get wrecked by the gas fees, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, cool, cool. Well, it makes it a ton more sustainable. We don't like those, those expensive fees. Um, either way, so uh, let's find another question then. Yeah, so this one is from one Eon. I think this is a good one. Question number two comes from one Eon, and it says the following. What is the main risk on Francium and how to minimize them? And where will there be an insurance implemented? And I'm, I'm going to merge that into just one question. And that would be, what would be the, the main risk? Like, what would make me have a high chance of losing money on Francium? <laughs> oh, well. The main risk for users of Francium, um, first, uh, which can be seen also can be seen from our documentations, on uh, the risk to lenders. Um, uh, first, it's the timing of a set return. Uh, if the utilization is too high and most of the assets in the pool are occupied, users may not restore their deposits in time. Um, but it's not actually a risk if they can restore their uh, assets at last. Um, about the other risks, um, the bad debt and loss of capital, I think um, users uh, also don't need to worry about it. Uh, we have uh, our own uh, reserve pool, uh, which can deal with the, um, those issues. If the, if the users are liquidated and they can't repay the debt, we we all um have our fund pool to help with it. And as for the risks to yield farmers, I think most of the users are aware of it about the price impact, impairment loss, and negative APY and liquidation. And so we uh have have the stop loss feature to reduce the risk. And about uh, the insurance implement, uh, uh, now we are will cooperate with the the protocol, the the insurance, and will uh, 
make the official in the announcements um, in next week. Whoa, whoa, whoa really? And You're dropping some users can here. buy the cover on their platform. That is so cool. Okay, let's let's continue this stuff. I think uh, we can get the ball rolling. And this is my third question, I think. Or not my <laughs> question, it's from Amir. And you say that your question might seem strange, but I like the question. It's a little bit funny. But what's the solution to keep hands of diamonds in the crypto space? Uh, um, yeah, um, you know that um, Presium is um, providing uh, uh, kinds of uh, strategies to the um, to the DeFi users, and uh, and uh, many people are uh, earning uh, interest, earning um, farming reward uh, in uh, Presium, and uh, um, this reward. This reward, I think, um, if Presium can um, keep providing a high yield strategies to the DeFi users, and uh, the whole platform would be very helpful. To the DeFi users, this is really important to uh, to uh, the holders, the, the token holders of uh, Presium, to uh, keep uh, keep holding um, keep holding Presium uh, token, the payment token of Presium. Yeah, I think this is really um, uh, really important for the long holders um, to think about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there you go, guys. Like, that's what's important to keep in mind, you know, when, when you look at tokens and also the friendship token, right? Funny enough, um, I remember back in the days, this is like 2016, 17, people didn't talk about diamond hands back then. It was iron hands, but it turned into diamond hands, which is a little bit more cooler, I think, at least a little bit more bling to it. Uh, but let's let's hop on to another question from the community and let's see what we can find here in the chats. This one is from from K5, and I'm gonna bring this one up because I was really intrigued by that setup myself that you guys have with those contribution contributor points. And um, well, his friend is always whining and complaining. We can <laughs> ignore that. But well, I think the, the the interesting aspect of this question is is, is is there any future plans, like any stuff related to these contribution points uh, that people can look forward to and, and be excited about? Um, or, yeah, is there any idea of what's to come? Any future plans related to these contribution points? Uh, yes, we, we have plans. Um, uh, they just need to wait for our token launch. Will be soon. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> well, K5, if you do one plus one equals two, yeah, there you go. Then it's soon, right? So you get it. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. Uh, thanks for that. I like the contribution point setup. Um, I'm gonna look into that myself and see if we can learn from that as a, as a many community. Um, <clears throat> Okay, um, let's see here, do, 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 from DGN G. I'm gonna take that question, DGN G, DGN G with a new PFP, that rhymes. Question number five, is that right? So I'm gonna formulate this question a little bit differently than what you wrote, DGN. Uh, can't believe I'm calling you DGN, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to uh, the APRs uh, on Francium as well, uh, do you plan to, um, to create like more complex strategy strategies for higher yields, uh, and the another add addition to that question is: is complexity in strategies always what gives the highest yield? Uh, yes, we we have plans. Uh, we have been exploring the um, the most you know the high with the uh, high yields strategies for our users and uh, like we said before we have to ensure that it has 
uh, stable APR for the users. Um, some tools, some uh, pairs that are not suitable for the strategies. Uh, but now uh, we have templates in uh, any assets. You can also build your own um, like neutral farming and long or short positions. You can build out your own positions, your, your own strategies. Cool, cool. So and the complete we'll, we'll also launch uh -huh. more strategies. And, and we also launch more strategies that we think the the most suitable strategies. Cool, cool. Uh, um, did I understand you correctly? Complexity in yield farming strategies to get a high and juicy APR or APY, complexity is not like a requirement. You could kind of find two layer strategies as well that gives high yield or what's your take on that? Mm, yes. Uh, uh, complex strategies. I, I want to know how complex it is. Okay. Utilizing other platforms, I mean cross chain or other chains from other chains. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think that uh, let me try to ex explain myself better. But I think many people into DeFi, and particularly those who are new to DeFi, they have a perception of yield farming strategies that in the sense that you know really advanced like five six layered strategies is required to have like a resilient and well-performing uh setup but from my perspective at least uh, that is not always required like you can find two layer strategies um that works just as good as like some fucking you know einstein strategy of 10 layers right uh, but from your perspective, yeah. it would be interesting to uh, to hear your take on that as well, since you're obviously professionals when it comes to providing these yield farming strategies opportunities. Is complexity always the best choice or not? Oh well, that depends. You know, we we uh, we've been exploring the strategies with stable APR, like we said before, um, and if the com those strategies are uh, suitable, we'll, we'll consider to create those strategies. And um, in our roadmap, um, we, are, we are cooperating with the top traders and trading platform uh, to create more professional strategies for users. And um, users can um, later on, they can use the tools provided by Frenzim to create the strategies visually. And strategies DV tools will promote the establishment of a prosperous strategy community. And the web tools and incubation DAO will be gradually present in the future. And everyone can come and experience it. Cool. Cool. Thanks for that reply. <clears throat> So doesn't matter like if it's complex or not, looking for stable APRs. Got it. Um, okay. So I think we're getting close to the one hour mark here. We did struggle with some te technical difficulties here. That was the first experience, but I think we, we did it quite good. Um, so um, before we head over to this last bit where where the people here from France, I see Mike, you're going to pick the best question out of those questions asked. i um, going to just quickly remind you all about the GM for Coffee contest we're having. Wish community member, good morning, right GM, in the GM chat, and you might win uh, coffee for US dollars, uh, in USDC, that is, uh, for, for, to buy a coffee. And then uh, I heard talks in the community committee we have with the sauciers um, that there's there's discussions about doing some like pretty a bigger bigger kind of lottery. Everybody who participated in the GM for coffee event during February probably kick off in the end of February. So stay tuned for that. 
So even if you didn't get a coffee during all of February, you will still get a chance to get plenty of coffee by the end of February. Um, and there's other, other cool things coming up as well. Stay tuned for that. Like we have game nights planned, some tournaments and contests connected to that as well uh, for our dear marinators. And uh, we have the dessert channel for marinators as well. Only chef and marinators can see this channel. And in the dessert channel, we, yeah, we share some interesting opportunities strictly for fun. No financial advice when it comes to NFTs, whitelists, tokens, and, and other kinds of things. And keep in mind, this is just for fun. There's never any financial advice coming from our end. We're just doing this to, to have fun with you guys. So let's move on then to pick the, the best question. Who will win $30 worth of Amazon? What I'm going to do now, Ice and Mike, I'm going to just compile all the links I sent to you guys in one message. Uh, so it's easier for you to just find all these questions and make up your mind which one is the best one today. And uh, we can only choose one best. Only one, just only one, one is going to be in the winner. Well, last time we had Aldrin here. And they uh, they just gave a uh, prize to everybody who asked a question. That was a little bit new and funny as well. But I think today we'll just go with one winner. But it's up to you guys, really. But I think we'll just go with one winner today. Uh, Mohammed, you have to acquire the marinate role in the Verify M&D section to uh, participate in uh, in most of the events we're, we're hosting here with uh, with token incentives or what the kind of prices involved. Uh, okay, so I think we managed to squeeze up five questions here. Um, here you go, that's the message, that's all the questions. I see on Mike, you can see them there. Yeah, we see, we, we decide to give uh, the, or the rewards. All of them? <laughs> hey. Yeah, yes. Okay, cool, okay. <laughs> Awesome. So everybody who asked a question here um, that I, we brought up here together with, with Francian, all of you will get $30 each of MSOL. And what you do is you simply send me a DM. Um, we'll address the details such as your wallet address, et cetera, et cetera, over there in DM. Um, this is awesome. Thanks a lot, uh, Francian. This has been a really interesting hour, to be honest. I mean, we both learned about Francium and how to use it and the background. And we also uh, get to learn how to deal with technical issues on, on Discord <laughs> as well, which was scary for a second. <laughs> we have made ourselves clear what Francium is, how to use Francium, and that Francium is fellow decentralizers. They're putting a lot of weight into supporting Amsol and what Marinade is doing for the Solana network. Uh, we're obviously super grateful for that. And uh, hey, I look forward to, to bringing you guys to another AMA like in a couple of months to talk about your future products when they have been deployed. So thanks a lot, I see Mike, for taking your time with this. It's been entertaining, educating, and uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs>